In this tutorial, you will learn how to manually install a plugin via your hosting account cPanel. If you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you've not done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started on this one. The first thing we want to do is check out our plugins list. This is a list of all the installed plugins on our site. Some are active, some are inactive in this current demo site here. And we're going to install one called WP Rocket, which is currently not on the website. It is a plugin used to speed up WordPress. It is very good. I like it a lot. I use it on all my websites. And if you want to know more about it, I've got a full tutorial on it in the description down below. So click on that link and watch that full tutorial. For now, we're going to install this on our website via cPanel. So WP Rocket, if you log into your account there, you can click on download WP Rocket and that downloads it to our hard drive. And now we go into our hosting account to the cPanel. Your cPanel may look a little different than this. It's going to have all the same options that you can click on and do certain functions in your account. The one we want is called File Manager. If you can't find it, go to Edit, Find, and then Find again, and just type in File Manager, and it should highlight File Manager on the page. Click on it when you find it, and that opens files on our server. In this case, I want to double click on public underscore HTML because I'm not in the WordPress root yet, but now I am. And how you know you're in the WordPress root, you'll see folders called wp-admin, wp-content, and wp-includes. Those are the three main core WordPress folders. And you see a bunch of files down below. In my case here, there's a bunch of extra gibberish because I've been using this demo site for years and doing a lot of stuff to it and then not completely cleaning my file structure. So yours will be much more slimmed down. You have a lot fewer files than yours, but you're gonna have these three folders and some files below it if you're in your WordPress core root folder. We wanna open wp-content, and then we wanna to go to plugins. And this is a list of all the plugins that are currently installed on the site. The same list as we see here. Those all exist in this list right here. And we can upload them manually to this folder. If I click on upload, and then click on select file, and I find the WP Rocket file I just downloaded, which is right here, and click on open. It will upload. Once it's at 100%, you can close this tab. Back in our plugins folder, you click on reload, and we see a zip file, WP Rocket underscore 3.6.3.zip. Click on that, click on extract, click on extract files, click on close, reload again. Now we see WP Rocket, the folder right here. We can delete the zip file. Don't delete anything else. Just delete the zip file that you uploaded. Because if you delete other folders, you're actually deleting plugins off of your website. So back in our website here, I will refresh and we will see WP Rocket appearing uh, right after WP Maintenance Mode. Refresh and there's WP Rocket. We can then activate it. And now it is running on our website. Next, I recommend you check out this playlist right here, which is chock full of beginner WordPress tutorials to help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can create awesome stuff. So check out that playlist, make sure you bookmark it for future use. Also make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And check out our private Facebook group, which is full of thousands and thousands of WordPress users and developers all helping each other get better at WordPress. There's a link to that in the description down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.